China is using its lure of its satellites to spy on American military installations. China and Russia have the weapons to target America's most valuable assets, our satellites. There is a Cold War going on right now. It is not being fought across borders, but instead in a new frontier. Superpowers are now racing for supremacy in space, and the weapons are satellites. But according to a new report, China has just landed a devastating blow to the U.S. by launching something much more powerful than the U.S. government has. This is definitely something to worry about, as the Chinese government can now spy on anyone and anything they want to. Join us as we discuss how China just admitted that they've launched the most advanced spy system ever. In a recently conducted analysis, Sam Bresnik, a researcher affiliated with Georgetown University's Center for Security of Emerging Technology, CSET, has brought to attention a pressing concern regarding the United States' standing in the competitive landscape of satellite deployment and replacement. Bresnik's observations show that a formidable adversary has already gained a notable advantage in the ongoing race to swiftly launch and replace satellites, which could potentially have significant implications for global space dominance. The study also suggests that China is making strategic moves to establish a robust presence in space technology, particularly by setting its sights on rivaling SpaceX's groundbreaking Starlink network. To do this, they have deployed an extensive constellation of nearly 13,000 satellites in low Earth orbit, a scale that might appear astonishing but falls in line with China's determined drive to rapidly advance in the realm of space exploration and communication. Over the last five years, China has significantly increased its number of satellite launches, and it now has the second largest collection of satellites in space, right after the United States. Satellites play a critical role in powering our modern communication networks and are integral to essential functions such as weather forecasting. Notably, the People's Liberation Army PLA, of China, like many modern military forces, has recognized the strategic importance of satellites and is actively integrating satellite-enabled capabilities into its military strategies. The PLA has developed and deployed various types of satellites to provide services such as position, navigation, timing, PNT, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, communications, and even early warning of missile launches. As China's reliance on space has grown for both economic and security purposes, Beijing has invested heavily in improving the resilience of its expanding space infrastructure. This includes designing systems that can withstand attacks and deter adversaries from targeting their satellites. Another remarkable aspect of China's space journey is the timeline of its satellite launches. Despite launching its first satellite in 1970, nearly half of China's total space launches occurred within a relatively short span from 2017 to 2022. This period witnessed the successful deployment of a significant majority of their satellites into orbit. In fact, a senior official from the Space Force recently highlighted that China has nearly doubled its total satellite count over the course of just the past three to four years. The report's most important discovery is that China seems to have overtaken the United States in something called a Tactically Responsive Space Launch, TRSL. TRSL is the ability to launch satellites into orbit in a very short time in order to replace any satellites that might have been damaged or destroyed by accident or by hostile actions. Most space launches require a lot of planning and preparation, which can take several months or even years. However, a responsive launch can be done within a few days of receiving the order and can even be carried out during a conflict situation. This is a critical advantage for both the U.S. and Chinese militaries, since they depend on satellite systems for many aspects of modern warfare, such as communication, navigation, surveillance, and targeting. Therefore, the country that can quickly restore its satellite capabilities in case of a disruption would have an edge in a high-intensity conflict scenario. Even though the U.S. military recognizes the importance of having better capabilities for quickly replacing satellites, the U.S. space industry, which includes both private and public sectors, has mainly focused on other things. They have traditionally cared more about how much stuff, payload, a rocket can carry, how reliable it is, and how efficiently it can launch multiple satellites at once. 
This strategy led to the creation of big rockets that use liquid fuel. This approach allowed the United States to have a lot of satellites in space, which is a good thing. However, there are downsides to this approach. Launching these big rockets takes a long time because it's quite complex to position them and fuel them up safely. You need a lot of equipment on the ground to make it all work. In simple terms, these rockets aren't the best choice if you want to replace satellites quickly. China has taken a different approach. They've not only developed big rockets that use liquid fuel and can carry many satellites, but they've also created a set of smaller rockets that use solid fuel. These smaller rockets, many of which have been designed by prominent Chinese space conglomerates such as CASC, China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, and CASIC, China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, along with their subsidiaries, have been purposefully designed to minimize the need for extensive ground support equipment. A significant advantage of these solid fuel rockets is their compatibility with specialized vehicles known as Transporter Erector Launchers, TELs. These TELs play a vital role in facilitating mobile and flexible launch capabilities, allowing rockets to be launched from a variety of locations and reducing the reliance on fixed launch sites. While these smaller, mobile rockets might not possess the payload capacity of their larger liquid fuel counterparts, they offer a crucial advantage in terms of quick response and deployment. This mobility and agility make them highly suitable options for rapidly replacing space systems that may have been damaged or destroyed, especially in situations where there might be conflicts. The United States hasn't made mobility or speed a big focus. From 2013 to 2022, they only launched 11 rockets that use solid fuel and are designed for orbit. In comparison, China launched 51 during that time. Right now, the US has only two rockets that use solid fuel for launches, the Pegasus and Minotaur. Out of these, the Pegasus is special because it's launched from an airplane, which makes it more mobile. In June 2021, the U.S. Space Force used a Pegasus XL rocket launched from an aircraft just 21 days after deciding to do it. This was an important step toward being able to quickly replace satellites. This year, the Space Force is planning to do something even harder. They want to launch a rocket that uses liquid fuel within just 24 hours of deciding to do it. This is a tough challenge because it takes a lot of work to get the rocket ready, fill it up with fuel, and make sure its engines are all set for launch. The United States should be cautious because China has the potential to easily spy on not only the US, but any country worldwide. Even though a major conflict is not in the best interest of any country, it is important for the US to be ready for such a risk. This means developing a reliable TRSL capability. China seems to rely on mobile, solid fuel rockets for this, but the U.S. doesn't necessarily have to copy them. Instead, the U.S. could create a plan to have a bunch of satellites ready to launch quickly. They could also team up with commercial space companies to make rockets that work well for fast launches. Even though most rockets that use liquid fuel aren't made for quick launches, both the government and private companies probably want to figure out how to launch faster. Lastly, the U.S. could invest in making their rockets that use solid fuel better so they can do what's needed for TRSL. While the United States currently holds the position of having the most advanced and comprehensive space capabilities globally, it would be unwise to assume that it can swiftly restore its critical satellite systems during times of conflict. Despite the relatively low probability of necessitating a TRSL capability, it's crucial to recognize that the scenarios where such a capability becomes vital are of the utmost significance. The United States boasts an expansive and sophisticated space infrastructure, allowing it to conduct a wide range of essential activities from communication to navigation and reconnaissance. However, this complex network is not immune to potential disruption, whether due to hostile actions or unforeseen accidents. In such instances, the ability to rapidly replace damaged or destroyed satellites becomes paramount. Even though the likelihood of facing these situations may be low, the potential consequences are so high that overlooking the necessity for a TRSL capability would be a significant oversight. 
To this end, strategic investments in the development of rapid launch capacities are sorely needed. While China has demonstrated a proactive approach by employing mobile, solid fuel rockets for TRSL, the United States need not emulate this strategy directly. Instead, the U.S. could pursue a multifaceted approach. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.